Noel, you came into my life at a very unexpected time. I was a super senior on my last semester in college and it was your very first semester. I had no idea at that time that I would find love, but I'm so glad you decided to show up in my life. It was not easy at first. We had to overcome the struggles of a long distance relationship. That experience was one of our first challenges as a couple and it ended up being a huge building block towards growing our relationship. Eventually, you decided to come live with me in Salinas and begin a new stage in our life. We started a little family with our two puppies, Gunnar and Oliver, and it was a great snapshot into our future. Getting adjusted to living together wasn't easy either. You liked going to early, expensive dinners, and I liked staying in and cooking dinner later in the night. I guess what I'm saying is that our relationship isn't perfect, but just know that I will always be there to support you and work through any challenges that we may face. Over the last three years, you've shown me what a beautiful person you are and how much you can love. I truly am the luckiest guy to be marrying you today. I love you so much and every day my love for you grows more and more. I'm not going to make any fake or impossible promises to you today, just real and truthful ones. I promise to put us first and work together to build our relationship. I promise to stand by you through all of life's wonderful moments as well as the difficult ones. I promise to honor my love and commitment to you even when we're old and gray. I promise to support your goals and dreams in life. I promise to satisfy your intense noodle and food cravings. I promise to be loving, patient, caring, and the one you can always depend on. Finally, I promise to live by the vows I give to you today. I promise to give you a wonderful marriage and to eventually be the best father I can be. I promise to keep these promises for the rest of my life and I can't wait to spend every moment with you. Anthony, you're the love of my life, my best friend, and the best dog dad to Gunnar and Oliver. Four years ago, I moved to Chico to finish my last two years of college. The first weekend I lived there, I actually absolutely hated it and wanted to move home. I even texted my mom that I was ready to move back, and of course she told me to stay and give it another chance. I'm so happy that I actually stayed and listened to my mom because the next weekend I actually met you and my entire world changed. Our slight exchange at a pool party led us to become inseparable from the next weekend on. Every day I was with you, you made Chico feel more like home. From our adventures in Bidwell Park, our first date at Hula's, floating down the Sac River, our lazy Sunday hangovers, crazy Jeep trips in Disneyland, I knew you're the one for me. Long distance sucked, but we both knew how strong our love was for each other, and we made it work. Shortly after graduation, I could not wait to move to Salinas to be with you. Moving to Salinas was weird for me. I again barely knew anyone. I was just starting my new job and adjusting to a new town. Having you by my side made Salinas start to feel more like home. You taught me that home really isn't a place. It's the people who make it what it is and you're my home. Four years later, I stand here today because I can't imagine my life without you. I love you because you accept me for who I am. You're patient, kind, and always put a smile on my face. I vow to support you, cherish you, and be by your side for better or for worse. I promise to you that I'll forever put our relationship first and be the best mommy to our future children. I can't wait to experience life with you as Mrs. Aliotti. I chose you in 2018, I choose you today, and I'll continue to choose you for the rest of my life. I love you, honey. A great relationship does not happen because of the love you had in the beginning but how well you continue building love until the end. And as you this day affirm your faith and love for one another, I would ask that you always remember to cherish each other as special and unique individuals and live each day that you may share it together, as from this day forward, you shall be each other's home, comfort, and refuge, your marriage strengthened by your love and respect. And now, finally, it is my pleasure to introduce to you the very first time, Mr. and Mrs. Aliotti, you may kiss your bride. From a very young age, you were very free-spirited, energetic, 
You were a living in the moment kind of child. Even one of our friends called you a firecracker. And the teenage years came, and that little sparkle turned into explosive fireworks. You were and continue to be a great friend, a mentor, and a counselor to all those around you. I think you taught me more lessons about life than I taught you. After college, you were living in Salinas with Benner and Ollie. You lived through the COVID pandemic, but that didn't stop your relationship from flourishing one bit. I believe that any one of these life-changing events could have broken down your relationship, but it has actually solidified your relationship. You'll definitely have some crazy stories to share with your kids and grandkids. The day came and we were leaving our baby in college. I knew he would be okay, but as a mom, I was torn as we drove off. I knew life would be different, and me and Mike were silent as I looked out the car window. I texted Anthony every morning and evening, every day for four years. I was that kind of mom. <laughs> Anthony, thank you for texting mom back. It really meant a lot. I always used to ask Anthony, have you met any nice girls? He would say, no, mom. There's no nice girls in Chico. So one day, Anthony tells me he's going to stop at the house one October weekend on the way to Jeep Jamboree. He also told me he was going to bring a girl and her name was Noelle. So I thought, wow, something is definitely going on. I see why Anthony fell in love with you, Noelle. I am at peace with you by his side and you, you will take good care of him. Seeing Noelle and Anthony's relationship grow has been such a blessing to see. I remember the first time that I met Anthony and we went to Disneyland. And I knew that I liked him from the very beginning. It was crazy how much and perfectly they balanced each other out. I am so glad your relationship has blossomed into this strong love that you shared today. Anthony, Noelle is so precious to me. And for me to see how you care and love my sister, it's so calming and it gives me a good sense of security that she's in really good hands. So Anthony, welcome to the family. It's a crazy Elliot family, Elliot Remedios family. Um, we're so proud to have a man like you join us. So by all means, buddy, you've got the world at your feet. Enjoy it. And thank you both so much. Always love and honor one another and do what you already do today. And you know what that is? You guys choose fun. Choose fun always.